The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson Newman men's soccer coach Stephen Lyons, I'm Danielle Whaley, and this is the Eagle Sports Network. Carson Newman wraps up the regular season with a trip to Mars Hill on Thursday. And coach, it's hard to believe that the final game of the regular season is here, but you're heading into it with a four-match winning streak. Uh, what has really stood out about how your team has played in these uh, past few matches uh, to get clean sheets and really be outscoring your opposition the way you have? Um, yeah, the, the guys have been doing well, and, and it's been a squad effort. Um, I know we mentioned the other day, We've got guys coming off the bench that are, that are able to impact the game. Um, obviously, defensively being being solid, um, Bram's doing great. But again, it's it's kind of a back to front effort, or front to back. Even you know the, the way that we press and uh, the intensity the guys have been bringing to the games and buying into what we're asking. And um, I think they've been getting some of the results they deserve. In these past four games, you've won three of them by a margin of three nil. And especially in the past two, like you mentioned, having guys coming off the bench to make a difference. How crucial is that depth at this point in the season where you're trying to eye a deep run in the conference tournament? Yeah, it's always big gang going into the postseason. Um, you know, we're playing a game Thursday, then we're back out on Monday. Um, if we get a good result there, you're playing Friday and then you're playing Sunday. Um, so again, you need a bit of depth and you need players that can come in and, and add some quality. Um, and the guys have been doing that so far. On the defensive side of the ball, you've had numerous clean, clean sheets this year. And with Brom Karsgaren get his uh, second player of the week nod from the conference, how important has his leadership been for the entire defensive core to get these showings that they've had? Yeah, like I said, Brom's been great. Um, it is a team effort, but um, to get the clean sheets, just build confidence kind of throughout the group. And then uh, the attacking players have started to click as well. And uh, hopefully that can continue. And to have as many goals as you've seen this season for the team on the offensive side, having all these goals that are being scored, especially early in the season where they're taking numerous chances and you're trying to find those shots that are going to be landing. How has that really kind of turned on for the team where they've been taking those chances, but they're finally making uh, some scenarios work out in their favor? Yeah, again, we've worked on it quite a lot. Um, and again, with, with the clean sheets, that, that instills confidence. Um, I still think at times we can be a little bit more clinical, given the amount of chances that we're creating. Um, but I think the, the attacking guys are, are getting confidence again from the goals. And uh, hopefully we can continue that tomorrow. And you head to Mars Hill to face a team that is also on an unbeaten streak uh, the past few games. What does it take to uh, get another good result against a Mars Hill team that has really turned on uh, their confidence as well in this past, uh, little stretch of games to try to close out the season on a high note? Uh, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, Greg's done a great job. Um, like I said, they've had some great results, and um, Mars Hill's always a tough place to go. Uh, I think the weather's going to drop temperature-wise tomorrow night, so uh, the conditions are going to be a little bit different, but uh, we've just got to adapt um, and go out there with our game plan and, and bring the intensity that we've asked from the guys all year long. And um, you know, hopefully, uh, defensively, we can do a good job keeping a clean sheet and, and put the chances away. Coach, best of luck on Thursday, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you. He is Coach Stephen Lyons. I'm Danielle Whaley, and this is the Eagle Sports Network.